always designed play spaces since I left university and a lot of those maybe would have been for developments, like housing developments and that sort of thing because play spaces are, are seen as the heart of the community and a lot of developers see that as selling a lifestyle. 2012 when my, my first kid was born um, there was a conference in the middle of that year in Adelaide where there was like two or three really great keynote speakers mm -hmm. and they came to talk about nature play, they talked about the importance of play, they also talked about unwrapping the cotton wool kid and so that sort of really resonated with me and started again to reflect again on my childhood mm -hmm. and those experiences and those memories that I had from that time and then sort of thinking about well what, what's my kid going to experience growing up in suburban Adelaide where there's a higher density of living and ac access to nature isn't as great as what it was for me. So I suppose that started to take me on a, I suppose a wee bit of a research journey around play and, and nature play and, and I obviously discovered the, the nature play movement which had already started in Western Australia. Some standard sort of issues that keep cropping up whether it's uh, no either services underground or there's tree assets or something that gets in the way or I suppose the big one's always budget, you know? Yeah. And these are all constraints, but there's always solutions for them and along the process. Um, I suppose the key one for me is making sure that everyone that's involved, everyone that ends up using the space or has a say over how it should develop or look. I think I established a, a suite of sort of design principles um, around play. And I sort of use these as like a blueprint and, and really sell the project and, and the outcomes that we want to achieve, you know, the main benefits. And so there's a suite of about 10 principles and I suppose the most important ones uh, for me is uh, the sense of place, so capturing what's important about this location, what stories can we tell, whether it's cultural or environmental. Mm -hmm. um, and for us it really needs to be interactive, so kids really need to be able to get close up, climb on it, climb over it, mm -hmm. interact with it. Um, and it's really about creating a sense of community, a sense of belonging, it's a unique element for that space. Um, amenities are an important part of a play space. I think a part of my design principles is about comfort and accessibility. So it's comfort not just for kids, you know, in extreme, obviously in South Australia, in one of the driest states and the driest continent, etc. And it's such a hot place to be. So we need to create comfortable amenities such as shelters and shade to be able to for kids to play longer and for parents and to stay longer in the space and also other supporting infrastructure such as your, such as your seats and, and your drinking fountains and your toilets and your barbecues these are all like really important especially for like destination playgrounds there's a hierarchy to different play spaces and there's different needs at different sites so it's uh, it's creating a diversity of experiences and, and a diversity of amenities and um, so we have a really i suppose successful a place to be and a family-friendly facilities that everyone can enjoy.